All right, hello, hello, friends. We're back. Uh, we left off. We had done shift and uh, unshift and doubly linked list. So now we need to figure out a way to insert and remove things from the list. So if we were inserting, let's say that we wanted to insert a node right here, we would have to then point a pointer to this next one, and we would have to point a pointer here like this. This diagram totally sucks like that, All right? So it's just inserting. So uh, let's get to it. Uh, let's say insert. It's going to take an index and a value. First thing that we want to do, what do you want to do? Let's uh, check see if the index is uh, within the bounds. So we'll go if, and oh yeah, from this insert method, unlike the other ones, instead of returning the entire list, like we're usually returning this, we want this, we want insert and remove to just be a true false, like a Boolean, uh, to know instead, instead of returning the whole list, we just want to know if it went through. So we'll go if uh, index is less than zero, or if index is greater than this dot length. So if it's greater than this dot length, less than zero, we'll return false because we can't do anything with that. Otherwise, let's let node equal new node with that value passed in. So this will be the one that we pass in. And we'll do another check. We'll check if index is equal to zero. We'll return. Okay, so right here, since we want to return a true false, we can use other methods that we've built already. So if we're wanting to insert something at the zero index of the, uh, of the list, that would be basically the same thing as unshifting something. But since we want to return a Boolean, we can do this little trick. We can just go bang, bang, this dot unshift, and we'll unshift with that uh, node, right? So what this does is it returns a true false right here, this does. So if this is not, is the way that you, like if not, not. So if positive, return this, right? It's basically the way to look at it. If index, next case is if index is equal to this dot length, we want to return the same thing. Bang, bang, this dot. Instead of unshift this time, if we're, if we're inserting something on the very back of the array, it'd be the same thing as push. We go this dot push with that node, All right? All right, so if those are not the cases, then what else do we want to do? Let's go ahead and set up a current or a uh, yeah current value, and that's going to equal this dot head, and then let's set up a counter variable. That'll be set at zero. So while it will start a while loop, while counter is not equal to index, we want to do something. So while those are not equal, we want to do something. We want to go current equals current dot next. We just want to move down the chain and then we'll increment on this loop, we'll increment counter each time by one, right? So what that'll do is that at the end, current will be at the index that we want it to be. So again, up here in our diagram, let's say that this is our current right here and we're wanting to put a node here. We would have to move this one over one, place one here, and then do a pointer like this, a pointer like this. Jesus, this sucks. And then we would have to do the same here for this one, right? So it's better to write it out in code. That, that diagram sucks. Uh, so let's go right here. We'll go let, or actually we'll just do let temp equal current. So our current one is in a temporary variable. And then we'll go 
temp.previous. We'll go previous, let previous equals temp.previous. So we have the two nodes that we want. And then it's just a simple thing of doing previous.next equals node. Node.next equals temp. Uh, temp or node.prev equals prev. And then we want to this dot link increment by one. And we want to uh, return true. All right now that should work. Let's see if it does. Let's see what our list looks like right now. Right now we've got it's a length of five and the last one's five. So let's try and insert between the one and the two, we'll try to insert something. So let's go list.insert at the one position, zero, one. Uh, hello, from insert. Let's see if this works. Okay, so now our length is six, and on our head node, since we're doing it in the second value, its next node is hello from insert. It's previous is circular and it's next is the next node. So that's working. So let's say that we wanted to insert at the very back of the array. List.insert at, uh, what is this? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, say 5. Uh, another insert. Cool. So now our length is 7. Our Let's see here. Here's one hello from insert. Value five. Where do we insert that? There we go. So now that's the end. It has a previous of node and it has an end of null. Cool. So let's take all of these elements out and then let's just try and insert something. And we'll get a head null, tail null, length of zero, which is what we want. Because we're just console logging the list right here. Doesn't have a tail, doesn't have a head. Is that right? I don't know if that's right. Let's not insert. Oh, yeah. Because there wasn't. Okay, so what happened right here, because I was a little bit confused there for a second. So what happened right here, we didn't have anything in the list, right? So what we were trying to do, uh, it was a mistake on my part, what we were trying to do was insert something from the, from the front, to the front of the array, right? So let's just console log this statement, and we don't need to console log the list, and we'll see what we get. What we get is false. Why do we get false? Because this list has a length of zero. And remember right here, we said if index is less than zero or index is greater than this.length, our this.length is zero and we we're trying to pass in at the one value. So it returns false. Let's see what it does when we do it at the zero. It's gonna return true. Now, if you console log the list itself, It'll return true because we still have that console log statement, but you'll see that now the, the head and the tail are both hello from insert. It doesn't have previous or next. So that's working fine. So our insert's good. Now let's do remove. Remove only takes an index. So all you want to do is check to see if the index is within bounds whenever you first start. My dog is going nuts. So We'll go if the uh, index is greater than or is less than zero, or if index is greater than this dot length minus one. No, we'll just do end dot, end dot, this, oh, index dot length. 
So let's imagine you have two elements in an array. The length of that would be two, but if you're trying to access the last element, you would just have to access one, zero, one. So we'll return false right here. And then we'll go if index is equal to uh, zero, then we'll go uh, index, uh, then we'll return bang bang, same thing again. And if we're trying to remove something from the beginning, that's the same thing as shift. And we'll do the same thing for the end if index is equal to this dot length minus one on this one we'll return this uh, bang bang this dot pop cool so once we've got that done it's a lot of the same we'll go let current equal this dot head let counter equal zero and we'll go while counter is not equal to head uh, to uh, index. We want to go Jesus. We want to go current equals current dot next, and then we want to increment counter by one. Then here, what we want to do is want to let previous equal current dot priv and uh, we want to basically we want to insert I'm sorry we want to remove the current node where it, where it is that's the one that we want to remove so we'll go let previous and let next equal current dot next so we have the two nodes on either side of current We'll go previous dot next equals next next dot previous equals previous this dot length minus minus and then return true. All right, so let's see if that worked. Let's see if that worked. Go down here. Let's take a look at our list. Let's push some stuff in there first. Let's uh, push uh, one. And then we'll do that a couple times. Let's just do three of them. Okay, so let's take a look at our list. Our list now has three elements. Everything seems to be working fine. So now let's go list dot remove and let's remove that two it's at the one element but let's remove that two okay so now we have a length of two but that two is gone now the head is one the tail is still three but if you notice here on the head the next variable the next value is three and here on the tail the previous value is one so that two is gone let's see what happens when we try to do the first one so now you'll see the head is two. We got rid of that one, and it's next is three. Three's previous is two. That's working good. And let's do the last one. Length is two, one and two. We remove the three. Everything's working fine. Now, if we did something out of bounds like 98, it's just going to return the entire list. It's not going to return the boolean uh, to the console because we're not console logging it. If you want to get that. You can go like this and just go console log and then paste that in here and we'll get rid of this list. And you'll see that it'll return false. If we do the list, you'll run, you'll get the false and then the whole list. So that's cool. So we've got our insert, we've got our remove, we've got shift, unshift, pop, push, and we've got our classes. The next one is the whole reason that I started doing this, reversing. <laughs> double link list. It's a little confusing, but the next video, that's what I'll do. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. Take it easy.